Wi-Fi, of course, getting crowded. We all know that, and many people have issues staying connected. Our next guest products uh, are certified for the next in wireless, if you will. Senior Vice President of Product Development for Perazzo is Brad Lynch. Brad, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? Great. Thanks for having me today. It's a pleasure. So tell me about uh, YGIG. Yeah, so YGIG <laughs> is the next generation of Wi-Fi or IEEE 802.11. Uh, it's called 802.11 AD. Uh -huh. And what it's really going to do for you is bring you a lot more speed and a lot less congestion to Wi-Fi. So it's oh, five oh times as fast as the Wi-Fi you have today. Five times as fast. Right. And the fact that it's less congested, I mean, That's right. you've solved our problem. Yeah, it <laughs> operates up in the 60 gigahertz band, so wow. there's just not a lot of device up there. So Yet. Very <laughs> That's true, but... Probably yeah. into tomorrow there will be, but in the meantime, yeah. take advantage of those technologies. Exactly, so. yeah. So now that means, of course, we've got to have devices that will work on those technologies. That's exactly it. So what you're going to probably start to see over the coming year and you know, is a lot more devices coming out with YGIG integrated into them. So uh, a few products started launching last year. and uh, Am I holding one of them? Yeah, you're holding one of them. So uh, one of the things we're bringing to market, uh, or our customers, will, or our partners will be bringing to market, is an adapter that lets you essentially enable any existing device that has a USB port with YGIG. Okay, very yeah, because there you can obviously plug it in. Yep. And then, uh, but then, and then, would you use software, for example, to sort of update the yeah, laptop so you just, or whatever? Yeah, that's right. Or you just install a driver. It shows up as another network. And now, instead of con you know connecting over your existing Wi-Fi band and fighting with all the other users, you yeah. have this very fast you know, four gigabit connection yeah. to the network. And of course, it wouldn't be this that I'm holding uh, for those watching the video necessarily because this is showing us the, the guts, if right. you will. It doesn't have a case, but it would be more, I guess, something like one of these devices that I'm picking exactly. up. Exactly, right? so that's what you your need. standard USB, and, and yep. it has the electronics in it uh, for YGIG to work. That's right. When will we have these things available? Uh, so I think you'll start to see these towards the end of Q1 on of the shelves. Year. Yep. Exactly. Awesome. awesome. Yep. Now, are they going to be costly? Uh, how are we going to no, deal with that? You know, they'll be the same price as kind of what you see out there already for, you know, existing uh, adapters. So if you go to, you know, any store, Best Buy or something like that, buy yeah. an 802.11 AC adapter, this is going to be the same price. Now, how can we uh, then make our smartphones work on it that don't typically, of course, have a standard USB connector Right, so like that'll, this, that'll be the next step is yeah. it integrates into smartphones itself. So probably in the second half of this year, you'll start to see the first smartphones include the technology. And so this is where the adapter is very important because yeah. so I have my smartphone with YGIG in it. Mm -hmm. What do I wa what do I want to talk to with it? Well, yeah. often I'm sa sharing data with my laptop or tablet or PC so this lets me establish that multi-gigabit per second link between the two devices. Oh, very cool. And yep. I mean, this is, uh, so and, and is this kind of a standard now that we're hoping most manufacturers will, will pick up on? That's and right. And talk about new smartphones coming out with yep. YGIG built in. Yeah, so uh, just last fall, Wi-Fi launched a certification program for the technology. It's called Wi-Fi Certified YGIG. Yeah. And we're one of three chipset vendors that are certified by Wi-Fi. So very good. Yep, uh, it's only three. That's right. There's only three. <laughs> it's, you know, kind of the new technology is very challenging to do. So yeah. there's three of us right now, and. You know, I'd expect as it picks up, certainly there will be more. But yeah, it puts it in a pretty unique position. Sure. And and you talked about smartphones being manufactured in the very near future. That should include the technology. Right. We, can we expect the same with uh, laptops, for example, and with tablets? Absolutely. I think you're going to see all these different devices. And then, you know, in addition to that, you're going to see, you know, routers with it and access points integrated in. Yeah. And that's how, you know, you're going to get this network. I'm wondering if we can upgrade an existing access point. Is absolutely. that something in the plans too? Yeah, It'd absolutely. Be some way to do that? Yeah, we're working on that too. So if you look at most access points that ship today, they have a USB 3 connector on them. Yeah. So with just a simple firmware update, you can essentially plug this same device into an access point and uh -huh. enable, you know, turn your access point from just an 11 AC access point to an 802.11 AD or Oof. YGIG access and, point. And 802.11 AD or YGIG right. is again, how much faster and... Five times as fast. It's five as times as fast as we used to. And Lots no, con crowded. no congestion. So that's yeah. you can see that peak speed far more often oh, for than sure. what you would with Wi-Fi. When you know, often you know, especially in events like this. You can't even, you connect to a Wi-Fi network, but you may as well not be connected because oh, you yeah. can't do anything with it. We even have our own here in our broadcast booth right. that, that barely extends beyond the booth, but that's fine as long as we right. are able to use it with our yep. devices here. But you're right, something like if it was YGIG, it'd be well, a that different would be story. Right, you'd set that up in your booth here and you'd have this blazing fast, yeah. you know. And it would connection. probably work all the way to the men's room and back. 
Uh, yeah. Potentially, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Potentially. Yeah. Uh, love it. You want more information, you got to visit their site. We'll, uh, you'll see what Brad and his team are up to. It's uh, Parazzo Tech, which is P-E-R-A-S-O-T-E-C-H.com. Yeah. We'll link you there, too, of course, when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. Uh, Brad, we thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Good stuff. These are the kinds of things, because we talk about products and services yep. available today and into tomorrow that will make a huge difference in our lives. So yep. thanks for sharing it. Oh, thanks a lot. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues from Las Vegas. I'm Dave Graveline. This is our CES 2017 coverage on the Advanced Media Network.